y'all Shafni Nicole here and welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome to my little digital space where I teach you how to use your iPad and increase your productivity in today's video I'll be showing you how to change the times on your daily pages to fit your day-to-day -day schedule there are two ways to do this process and I'm going to show you both ways in this video So the first way to do this is by adding a white background to the text. So what you're going to do is choose your desired font and then you're going to go under text box style and add background color and you're going to choose the background color that matches the basically background of the daily page. And then remember to save as default. And I'll make sure I link the font that I'm using in the description box. Now the trick for the white background is basically getting it to not cover the lines. Um, so you're going to have to do a lot of line um, spacing adjusting to get rid of the extra white background. And you're going to also have to change the size of the font. So you're going to be like adjusting this to be basically perfect. Um, so this part can be a little bit much for some people. So if you find this way to be a little bit too much and you don't want to do all this adjusting and stuff, then the second way will definitely be for you. But once you do have this figured out, um, just make sure that you save it as a default so that you can continue the process and you won't have to do this each and every time. So now you're going to see how fast this goes once you have made the adjustments. It is quite easy at this point. You're just writing in the numbers and just moving them where they need to go. Now let's move on to the second way of doing this, which is the easiest way to do it. Okay, so we're going to be using the pen tool for the second way. And we're just going to change the color to white. And we're going to just basically white out each time. Also, I am using my thickest pen size. I think I have it set to 1.4. I didn't set it to the highest one, um, but I did use my thickest pen size. Also, if you're finding this video to be helpful, make sure that you do subscribe to the channel so that you get notified when I do upload new videos. And now we're just gonna go in with the text and write in our times. And then just move them to where they need to go. And once you've completed all your numbers, I do recommend saving them so you don't do this over and over again. So lasso around all of your numbers. And then you're going to add to elements. And you can either make a new collection. I have one already called Daily Times. So I'm just going to save it there. So when I go to my new daily page, all I have to do is go into the elements and then just put the numbers on top. I don't have to do them over again. And that is it guys. That's how you're able to change the times on your daily and weekly pages. If you found this video to be helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you do have any questions, please let me know down in the comments and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. Until next time. Bye y'all.